In this tutorial, we're going to model uh, this building. It's a conceptual design, and uh, I, I found it quite uh, interesting, the, the shapes and this uh, overall uh, composition. So I wanted to show you uh, how to approach when modeling this kind of um, uh, curved shapes. So let's, uh, let's start. Uh, first thing we're going to do is actually um, create a rectangle. I'm just gonna use polyline for this and type five all around. And I will copy this here and move it 0 0.5 for example. And let's copy this a couple of times like this. And now let's move it up. Let's also move it 0 0.5 and let's copy it a couple of times more. And we have the grid. So basically this will be the building. Uh, I will, let's say 55 and this will be the height. I capped it. And now let's just isolate one, one, one of these. And as you can see here, uh, on the top, it has the, the edge. And then as it goes down, it's like curving down. So I will show you how to create this effect. So first, uh, uh, let's create this, um, this edge here. So this edge will be from here to here. And now let's go to the side view and let's create this curve. We're gonna use this command here and we're just gonna input a couple of curves here, a couple of, uh, a couple of uh, uh, these uh, helper points. And now what you can do if you want to align this to be straight here, we can use set points on and we can move it to uh, to x-axis actually and snap it here right there and we can do the same for these th three points and now we have this sl a smooth curve here and that's that's what we wanted now we can go back and now let's orient this on on this side as well and copy it like so and now let's mirror it without copying and this is the shape we get that's what we wanted now let's let's connect these curves join and let's say split let's split this rectangle with these guys and we delete this so once we once we have this shape now it's just a matter of filling it filling it in and uh, we can explore this curve again and let's do sweep two let's say this is the first rail this is the second rail and this is the section and okay and we get the shape so it's not as difficult as it seems at first but it's just a matter of the right approach so now i'm going to actually take a look at the composition and see which elements are going where. So I can see that the second element here um, should be reversed. So I'm gonna copy this guy here first and I'm gonna rotate it 180. And that's, that's the result. And now here, this guy needs to be mirrored. So I'll just use the helper tool here and let's mirror this guy from here to here. But let's turn on the copy, like so. Uh, next one is uh, this guy as well, but on reverse. So let's copy it here. Let's reverse it 180. And let me see. Uh, ta -ta. Okay, we need to flip it also 180. And we need to mirror it here without copying, like so. Okay, 
And the last one is the last one is this one. Actually, it's reverse 180. Yeah, yeah, this is it. Okay, so we have this side, and now we're just gonna use the same principle on the other side. And uh, let's let's, for example, orient this guy here to here, here to here. Let's delete this one. And this one just needs to be mirrored, like so. Next one is this one, orient, copy, yes. And let's put it here. There you go. And the next one is mirrored version of this. So let's use the helper tool, mirror, copy. The last one is this one. So this is this is the actual look of the building. So as you can see, it's not very difficult. It's just a matter of uh, the right approach for these elements. So I hope that you found this useful. And if you like this kind of videos, please like and share and if you know anybody that would find these Rhino videos useful, uh, send them over to this YouTube channel.